ATL.com. It's Hot 107.9 and it's your girl Kay Simone and we are here at the Millennial Tour getting ready for B2K, Mario, Pretty Ricky and so much more. This is a 2000 throwback right here. That's why I had to throw on the New Jersey net, Jason Kidd jersey, you know, with the bamboo earrings, okay? But right now we're about to get ready for our opener, Miss C. Marie. She'll be hitting the stage shortly. So be it. Action. So be it. I am standing here with the one and only C. Marie. What's going on, girl? Hey, Mama. How are you? I am wonderful. So we're here at the Millennium Tour, and C. Marie just opened up and gave us a grand performance. Girl, tell me what was going through your body. How was you feeling on that stage right now? Oh my God, it like flew by. I, I like blinked my eyes and we were on the last song, but it was such an adrenaline rush and it felt just so good having my girls with me. It was amazing. First of all, your girls killed it. Y'all came on the stage and started twerking, okay? Y'all can shake your butt a little bit better than me, okay? I mean, they can. That's why I went off stage halfway through. I was like, all right, I'm going to get some water, get this throat good, and let y'all twerk it out. So, yeah. Definitely. So, you perform Poozy and you perform Action. Yes. So, I know Be Nice just dropped the official video for that. How was that? You just made the debut of the songs on April 1st. It is now April 5th, four days later. How, how excited are you right now? Tell me what you're feeling. It's, it's a dream. It's really just a dream. It's, yeah, Be Nice released on uh, Celeb Mix, mm -hmm. and it was just an amazing experience just to see my stuff out there and have people promoting me and have you guys here to support me. It's, it's been absolutely amazing. Well, trust me, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to show my love. You know, she got her article on HotspotATL.com. We went live, and now we're here. I was we're in L.A., you were here. It was crazy. And now we're here. And now we're here. We're here, okay? So who are you excited to see tonight? Because I know you just finished performing. We're about to go outside and finish watching the show. Yes. Chingy, I think, was on the stage. He probably just got finished. So who are you more excited to see tonight? I think just B2K. I think I'm ready to see them perform. I'm ready to get educated on them, and I'm ready to just see what they got. Hold on, wait, you said educated. Girl, how old are you? You're not supposed to ask a woman her age. Okay, my bad, but okay, you right. You got me, you got me. Okay, but you said educated. So what, what B2K song you know? T tell me what B2K song you know. Bum, bum, bum. That's not bad, that's not bad. You know, gots to be, why I love yes. you. Yes, I did my research before coming, so I'm working on it, but. Oh girl, you young, you, oh God. <laughs> Yeah. It's okay though, but we're gonna have fun. We're gonna go out. Mario. Mario. I'm very excited to see Mario. Yes. yes. Now now how old does Mario go back for you? Like what what Mario song do you know? Oh, Let Me Love You is my ultimate favorite. Oh, so you don't know Two Chain? You do. don't know come oh you still know come on? Let Me Love You is my absolute favorite. Whenever that song comes on, it just like I wanna be in my room, just be like, you know, talking I, about my rings and you know, just let me ask you this question because every time I hear that song, you know, I feel like he's singing to me. Do you he feel, is. Do you feel like Absolutely. He's I, he knows me. Like, mm -hmm. we just have that connection where we I'm just have like. That moment. So he knows us. Oh, yeah. Sister wives. Yeah. Hey, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to go back and uh, get back into the show. But, see, Marie, thank you so much for taking so much time out to talk to me. You did amazing. Thank you for having me. Yes, I had to. Yeah. Now we about to go turn up. It's your girl Kay Simone right here on HotspotATL.com. Hot 107.9. Keep it locked. Y'all give it up for Carrie! Hey, T.I., thank you, thank you, Bobby. I love y'all! <laughs> when I say thank you, when I see what it do. Hey! I need me to fly, but let's get my body here. Here at the Millennial Tour, and guess who I found? Y'all, I found my crush. What's hey, Sammy. What's good, queen? How are you? How are you? I'm blessed. You're calling me a queen. Y'all, look at this king right here. I'm blessed. Thank okay. You. Thank you. 
Now listen, because you know everything was circulating. You had your fans out here like Sammy should have been a part of the tour. Right, right. Where's Sammy? No, nah, I'm not going because Sammy's not here. Yeah. But you're here. Yeah. You crashed it. Yeah, it was love. I had to come crash the concert. Um, it's in my city. Uh, shout out to my brother Lloyd. He reached out a couple times. I kind of was like, yeah, I'm cool on it, you know, because I, I wanted to be a part of it for the culture. If it wasn't called the Millennium Tour, I wouldn't feel no kind of way. But I was the first child star of my generation, so exactly. I would love to rock uh, rock every night with these kings. So, um, but you know, I have no ego. I have no pride, and uh, I'm right where I was supposed to be. They show crazy love. That's like 20,000 people out there that went crazy, and I thank Lloyd again for uh, inviting me convincing me to come out here and do it and B2K and, and Pleasure and Pretty Ricky and uh, Bobby V everybody's been showing me love since they've been in the city so uh it's all love absolutely so I know you just dropped Everlasting yeah, yeah. and you know honestly to be honest with you I think you need your own tour do you agree with that oh yeah it's kicking off in June actually we got we, we will drop the uh dates uh probably like two weeks Oh, wait, so I got an exclusive right now. Yeah, that's the first time I ever said that. See, um, queen, the queen. That's got right. An exclusive. That's right. We got my own tour, the Everlasting Tour, uh, mm -hmm. kicking off. And um, who knows? Like, you know, I think tonight, um, just the energy that the people got to see and, mm -hmm. and what I had to offer, you know, in my little, my little time. Mm -hmm. You know, Millennium Tour is not over. I might, I might be able to catch another leg. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Okay, well, let me know. What, what can we expect for this tour, for Everlasting? What, what's next? Like, yeah, I mean, um, who can we see somebody? We're going to expect yeah, to see some people? it's going to be like a Sammy and Friends joint. It's just me headlining, but uh, certain cities, mm -hmm. I'm going to reach out to some uh, homies of mine and, and have them come out and do their thing. But it's just full of love, full of energy and passion. And, and then just real singing, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm all about substance and being vulnerable. So it's one thing to do that in the studio, but it's another thing to convey that message and get that energy and just kind of reciprocate the same energy. That's what I'm all about. And, and just high vibrations and frequencies. And uh, of course, a little sexy R&B feel, man. R&B has finally, I think, made its way back. Mm -hmm. And I'm just happy that I'm right in the midst of it. You know what I'm saying? It's love. That's why I'm so happy the Millennium Tour it showed that if we come together, we're stronger with numbers opposed to everybody trying to do their own thing and staying clicked up. Let's come together, man. We all can rock. We all can shine and have fun. Indeed, because let me tell you, when you went on the shade room mm -hmm. and you talked about how, you know, everybody was intimidated, you know, that stirred up a little something. Yeah, you I know? did that purposely. And actually <laughs> verbatim, I said, I don't know. I would assume. See, when you make an assumption, it's not a definite. I just said, assume maybe somebody's intimidated. But that's all in, in, in competitive fun. If you know me, I'm all about peace, light, and love. Like I said, I'm a B2K fan. I support Pretty Ricky, Bow, everybody. You know, literally, like, I'm, I only have tunnel vision, so I'm really only focused on the things that I do. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I support my fellow kings. I understand it's not easy to stay around this long. And for us to still be doing it at an elite level and to get the support from the fans, we're, we're blessed brothers. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I said that just to um, because I, I can't think of any other reason to not have been on it from the jump. But then God doesn't make mistakes. And here I am tonight. I was happy to be a part of it, make history. And uh, we'll see where it goes from here. Absolutely. But I, like I said, you got the everlasting to come oh, yeah, in. Sure, so, sure. you know, I think for you, because you kept it going, you kept it pushing. A lot of people probably know, probably, a lot of people probably don't know, mm -hmm. but you kept it going. And for you, it's just like, I would love to see you, you know, do something by yourself and then invite everybody else. I mean, that's yeah, just me. Yeah, the everlasting tour, that's me. That's all me. And uh, it's very sexy, intimate venues because I like to get up and close and personal. Like the arena tonight was love, is massive, but I'm the guy that you can touch. You know what I'm saying? I like to reach out and just feel, again, that connection. Um, there's no better way than to express yourself through the gift of song and then have that love given back to you from the fans. So this June, uh, we take off, and then uh, I'll definitely be announcing it in, like, literally two, three weeks, the, the, the first leg of the rollout. Absolutely. All right, so you heard it here first right here on HotspotATL.com. Hot 107.9, it's your girl, K. Simone, and thank you so much thank again, Sammy. Me. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Hey, how you doing, love? I'm gonna let you with me. Taste up, you might like it. So I'm outside, you look good. Can you think I'm a bum? Yeah, yeah. All I do is think of you. Come on.
I am living every lady's dream right now. Do you hear me? It's your girl, Kay Simone, on HotSpotATL.com, Hot1079, and I am here with the one and only P5. Right. Thank you. It's great to be here. Yeah, okay, so I got a mic, and it's like, Fabio. Yeah. So how we gonna do this? <laughs> all right, how we gonna do this, okay? All right, so this is what we gonna do. First of all, because everybody was crying about Sammy not being on the tour, B5 not being on the tour, and look, y'all come to Atlanta, and look who's here. Oh, yeah. I mean, you in Atlanta, it's our, it's our city. You know what I mean? So we've been here for like 10 years. We might have been a little Since low key. 2000. Yeah. 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 A lot of people thought we was from New York though, because we was at the time with Bad Boy. We you know we was representing the New York Jackets and things like that. But we're actually from Atlanta. Wait, y'all was with Bad Boy? I had no clue. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know y'all was signed to Bad Boy. We were signed to Bad Boy. Well, Sarcastic. Really? You didn't know we were signed to Bad Boy? No, I'm so serious. I I didn't know y'all was signed to yeah. Bad Boy. We were signed to Bad Boy. Then we went over to Atlantic. Then we went over to Motown, and now we're indie on our yeah. own, doing our own thing. Awesome. So how is that for you guys coming from Bad Boy and you know going to somewhere else, and now you represent yourself, you're independent artist now. How is that for y'all? I mean, beautiful. beautiful. It definitely feels great. You know, we got that like creative control to do whatever we want. We can put things out whenever we want. You, you know, everything's nobody. in our hands. You know, so it's just up to us to get it going, and that's what time, we do. Yeah, exactly. But at the same time, we got that knowledge from all them labels mm -hmm. and, and work with all these great people. So now we just like we we applied it to you know our everyday and. We here in Atlanta on the Millennium Tour. Like they come to our city, we gotta come. Like we gotta come out. <laughs> well, let me tell y'all this: y'all have all grown up to be so handsome, thank you, thank okay? You. I and I know you said y'all took a lot of things with you from different labels. What were some of the things that y'all actually learned? I'm gonna come down here because I've been talking yeah, to all yeah, three of yeah. y'all. So, what were some of the things that y'all actually took from the labels, if you don't mind me asking? Well, it's not necessarily only the labels, but it's the people that the labels provide you with. Great producers, great songwriters. You get to be in the rooms with them. You get to pick their brains and see how they're creative and learning their flow. Yeah. I feel like that's one of the most mm -hmm. beneficial things we were able to pick up. Yeah, most definitely, definitely the writing, creativity wise. You know, shout out to Carrie. You know, we work with a lot of the a lot of the hit writers that are of today. We had them when we was young, young. So they kind of they kind of like grew up, you know, with us. Right. Like Carrie, uh, Ryan, Leslie. Ryan Leslie, Underdogs, um, just everybody, you know, a bunch of different people. You know, Sean Garrick, everybody, Ronnie Jerkins. Like, you know, we we young old veterans at this. So you know. Absolutely, y'all know Sean is here, right? Sean Garrett. Yeah, did y'all run into him? Yeah. No, we didn't run into him. I ran into Sean. How y'all didn't run into Sean no, before me? What? Well, it's okay, because he's here. Oh, he's yeah. Hopefully, he's still here. Yeah, that's a, that's a big bro for sure. So, I'm going to help y'all find him, because I found him. Let's the same way I found y'all, okay? <laughs> she on the job. She on the job. When he first came into Atlanta, he worked on, worked on our records. Yeah. So, like, we, we've shout known. Out Sean shout out to Sean Garrett. Shout out to everybody. Like, even Pretty Ricky, B2K. Like, we've been all, we all been friends for, like, since the Scream Tour 4. Right. Back in 05, 06. You know what I mean? So, it's all family. It's all love backstage. You know what I mean? So. Absolutely. So listen, you was telling me that y'all got something new coming, you know, which is about time because y'all bringing sexy, honey. OK, it's about time. OK, so talk about that for me. So right now we have a song out called Do That and the video's out on YouTube right now. You can check it out platforms. on all platforms, Tidal, uh, Spotify, all that. So you can check the video out YouTube. Um, also, what y'all can do is follow B5 online on IG, YouTube. Um, what else? Twitter. And so, yeah, we got that going on. But besides that, we have a new song we dropping, which is called Wave, which is already out. But the video is coming soon. So y'all all be seeing it soon. And lit. OK, so listen, listen. We, we want to come premiere at 107.9. So. Oh, you always welcome to do that, honey. You're always. Well, how about this? Because we got the camera right here. I got all five of y'all right here. So can we get like a preview of Wave? Can we get. Can, yeah. Can we get a preview? I'm going to want to preview it. Do a little bit of your verse, bro. Yeah, good when you come in the crib, we can ride in a rave. Ooh, yeah. Shawty look good. Ain't like me when it come with a rave. Ooh, yeah. Drip on your wrist when your man talk shit, he gon' hate anyway. Ooh, yeah. She gon' ride the wave. Yeah. She gon' ride the wave. She just wanna twerk and call me daddy. She say that she want me come and taste her cotton candy. Pull up to the side. I had to get some. Okay, okay. Okay. I look, I had to do that for y'all. <laughs> I had to do that for y'all. I did that for y'all. Hot 107.9, hotspotatl.com. It's your girl, K. Simone, with B5, y'all. Keep it locked. We got more on the way. All right, it's your girl, K. Simone, here at Hot 107, hotspotatl. It's the end of the tour, but I wanted to more of y'all. 
going on? What's going on? back here by the bus. Listen, I, I does this, okay? okay? I does this. I mean, right. it's your girl, Casey Mom. Don't do that. 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 All right, so look, how you feeling? The end of the tour, you on your way out. I mean, you have well, to go. Well, it's not the end of the tour, it's the end of the night. It's the end of the night. Kind of. The well, end of the night yeah. for the millennials who are here in Atlanta. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay, this is the last show in Atlanta. Yeah. You had your all white on now. You got your red and black. Yeah, I'm about to go, you too. know, I got my thrill on right now. Yes. Nah, man, I had a great time. Uh, Atlanta always shows love. Atlanta, I love you. Thank you so much. Um, look out for the new single, Care For You. It's out right now. Available on all platforms. I performed tonight. Man, we shared a special moment on stage. It was beautiful. Man. I love being on tour. It's incredible. Well, it's a pleasure to see you. Got your new music. Everything is going well. You look wonderful. Thank you, baby. I appreciate you. Look wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank how, you how, how you feeling? How do you feel? Like you know, hitting the stage, seeing all the people that's yeah. out there on it. You know, cheering for you, still singing, just a friend, yeah. come on. You know, they still singing everything. How does that make you feel? Atlanta's a special market because, you know, this is this is the culture for, for black music. You know what I'm saying? This is the smart that carry a lot of that weight. So when I come here and see everybody singing records from the new records to the older records to the nostalgic day one records, you know, it's always like a motivational feeling for me as a writer, as an artist, as a performer. You know, as somebody who come from Baltimore, you know, as a young kid coming up in the game, just trying to, you know, stay consistent. So, you know those fans out there supporting me, you know, I'm here for y'all. Anything that I learn or that helps me grow, I try to share with my fans. Even during the meet and greets, I try to give my fans real experiences because I know that they grew with me. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's love. Okay. Well, I don't want to take up too much more of your time. Thank you so much for stopping. Right. As I no, was you grabbed me. I, you stop. You stop me. You stop, and they try to call security on me. It's love. It's love. All right. Love. Thank you so much. Thank you, y'all.